The Honorable Member for Belleuil Chambly. There was a unanimous vote at committee to support the bill brought forward by my colleague for Shefford to finally end discrimination towards seniors. The discrimination in old age security between, pe between people of 65 to 75 and those over 75. Since it was unanimous vote, I assume the Liberal members were directed to vote in favor. So logically, this should be part of the budget. My question is the following. Will the end of this age-related discrimination be in the budget? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, on seniors, we have taken measures to recognize seniors with higher costs. Those over 75, we are giving them more help. In addition, we are providing dental care to seniors. This week, seniors of 70 and over will be able to register for receiving dental care starting in May. We are here to help seniors. We are here to invest and help the most vulnerable among us. We will continue to be there for our seniors throughout the country. The Honourable Member for belle chambly That's all very well, Mr. Speaker, but that's in the past. I want to know what the Prime Minister will do in the future. And I would remind him that his members at committee voted in favour of this bill. And it's going to be coming to the floor of the House. So I'm assuming that the Prime Minister is not trying to fool us or fool the people who are the most vulnerable during the pandemic and now, and the most vulnerable to inflation. Will he finally put an end to this age-based discrimination between seniors? And will he increase old age security for all seniors in the budget? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, since 2015, we have increased GIS and OAS. And we have recognized that indeed seniors are facing a difficult time, especially older seniors from 75 years of age. There are more costs for vulnerable seniors, and that is why we are helping them with targeted assistance, while also helping all seniors with investment in housing, in dental care, in the New Horizons program, with investments throughout the country to help seniors. And we will always recognize those who are the most vulnerable.